Aloha everyone, Arms Inc. here, and today I got a shotgun review. This is a nice side by side shotgun. Let's check to make sure it's unloaded before we get anything started. And yes, she's unloaded. This particular shotgun is an Armis Irby. Let's see if you can oh, upside down. And I don't know if you can read that right there, but it says Armis Irby S C I L Guaybar, made in Spain. This is a 12 gauge, uh, 28 inch shotgun, and this is the cool old kind where it has the dual triggers. So this is for this barrel. This one's for this this barrel. So makes it kind of different and unique. I'm going to do a quick takedown of it real quick. With these old Spanish shotguns, and when I say Spanish shotguns, most of the Spanish shotguns of this period, even if they're made by different companies, are made the same way. You push this button in front, pull, pull this off, and then you crack it open slides out and inside you have your receiver with your buttstock and your trigger mechanism you have the two barrels with the ejector and the ejector is right here and then you have your foregrum or your, your forearm and this one usually has some kind of checkering similar to uh, that goes along with the grip on your buttstock. So, yeah, this is just uh, one of the examples of the Spanish shotguns. Like I said, they're excellent shotguns for the money. Um, this was actually one of my this was my first uh, gun that I ever got, and it was passed down from my dad. And uh, it's a lot of fun to shoot, a lot of fun to use. Uh, I've taken this thing trapped. Uh, so many times and then a little bit of skeet with it um, I can't say enough good things about it uh, only downside to this particular one is one of uh, the firing pins after you fire they don't reset themselves so they just kinda gotta be pushed as you can see it's not reset and it's supposed this is supposed to cock it back which now that I did that it's gonna be miserable getting it in Let me reassemble it real quick. Let's take this part right there. This is the part that is pretty miserable when you pull the trigger. There you go. And this other part is pretty miserable when you pull the trigger as well. There we go. And I find when you you gotta break it open to get that on when you pull the trigger. But it won't when you fire it and you open it up, it resets itself when it hits this, but when it'll get stuck into the firing pin because I guess the spring that pulls it back isn't that good. So negative. I went to a gunsmith and asked them if they could fix it and they told me it's gonna cost more than the guns are worth. So, it's kind of a sad part of it. But it is a very beautiful shotgun. And for the money, I've seen these for around 300 some on dollars on Gunbroker. And I think my dad, when he bought it a long time ago, this was his first gun, he bought it, I think he was, what, 16, 17? And um, he paid like 100 and something dollars for it. And he bought it used. So it's something that you can pass down to your kids. Everybody will have a great time shooting, and they'll be a classic for a long time. So, let me put this back out. And 
Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, tips, or a little info you'd like to share, please leave it in the comment box down below. My name is Arms Inc. and please subscribe. Mahalo.